Okay, let's just worry about getting through here now. Did I, uh, ready to grab? Yeah, I already got, grabbed whatever's on that guy. It's a good thing I went back that direction and already quick saved, or else that would have been really, very troublesome. Come heal me! Okay, cool. Wow. That curing light wounds didn't do much, did it? Oh well. What this? Hopefully no more traps right here. Ooh, a wand. Nice. Quick save. Just in case. What have we here? Potions! Take them! Okay, we can't. Maybe after this guy's dead, then we can. Oh, it's a vampiric wolf! We're dealing with this guy pretty easy compared to the other ones. I guess we have gotten a bit better. We've increased level a couple times anyway. At least some of us have. Oh yeah, don't just stand back there and be useless. Come on. Come up and do some magic. Did that do anything? Well, he's blinded. For whatever that's worth. Is that all that's supposed to do? Oh, I, for some reason I thought that would do something else. Something more. I don't know why. But whatever. This being blind is fine. Uh, Wild Surge berries in my pocket. What? So all of a sudden there's like turds in her pocket. No, okay, good berries. Different kind of berries. Alright. Well, that's good. <laughs> well, if we want some berries, I guess. Yay, we got some. Deal with this vampiric wolf first. Come on. Wow, this takes forever. Hit him, Randall, come on. I believe in you. Finally. Hey, you gotta let. Wow, we are dinging so fast now. It's crazy, but I'm so happy. <laughs> it took me forever to level up in previous playthroughs of this game. Oh, I guess I just had my crap too full. It took me forever to level up in previous playthroughs, but I guess I just didn't get very far, so that must be the reason why. But in comparison, it feels like I'm leveling up, leveling up very frequently now. You know what? Whoever it was that has... Yeah, give me that gem bag. Yeah, I want that. Open it. Cool. Let's put all... Oh, it's got stuff in the bag. Well, that's awesome. But I want to put stuff inside of... How do I do that? Oh, okay, there we go. I just, like, use it on the bag. Makes sense. Saves me a lot of space. I wish I had some kind of bag to put the potions inside. Potion of Genius, Mirrored Eyes. Cool. I like having all this stuff. Excited. Yeah. Level up. Ding time. Yeah, cleric level already. Wow. Huh. That's zipped right by. That just didn't take that much experience points compared to others, the other levels. I don't know. Hopefully we'll be able to level up these things soon, because I'd really like to. Okay, well that was simple. What did we get again? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> oh well. So we got some nice... I think we got some decent saving throws, right? I think? I guess I don't actually know what they mean. Did we, everyone else get a level up? Yeah, Nira did. Okay, it's hard to see that plus next to her portrait there. Well hey, at least we got some level 2 spells finally. Good. And some health, which, which never goes amiss. Excellent. Nah, still no additional level 1 spells. I suppose it would, it would have told us if it did. So what are we here? Um. Hmm. Okay. Why would you erase a spell in your spell book? Why is that even an option? Why would you possibly ever want to get rid of a possible spell? That's just ridiculous. That's just stupid. Okay, well, I guess take that. I suppose. Resist fear is nice. Who does it work on? Ooh, everyone within a radius. And it works for a whole hour. I'm definitely wanting that. That would have been so nice before. Huh. <laughs> knock. Okay, well, it's good to have that. I don't think I really want it right now, though, or need it, rather. Huh? Let's move on. 
Yeah, I'll get right on that. At least Randall will move on. Everyone else stay back. Wow, pile of corpses. Whoa, we. Okay. That's your trap. I'm on fire. Ah. Okay. Thankfully, apparently, weapons and stuff can't be damaged or armor or whatever. Can't be permanently damaged. Ooh, his dusty history book. Awesome. Yeah, apparently weapons and armor and stuff can't be permanently damaged in this game. Unlike other games where if you, like, would have sustained enough damage, eventually your stuff would break apart and fall off, and that sucks. You hold these, but don't you friggin' dare wear them. Although it would be kind of amusing to have her turn into a man. <laughs> uh, you can hold this, I guess. I don't even know why I still have that. Oh, right, because I switched that out. That's why. Someone can hold this hair. And one, hold, hold these bloody scalps. Thanks. Appreciate it. I have to set all this stuff up by hand. I have so such a variety of potions right now. <laughs> it's crazy. Give these over to M1. There we go. What? Oh, her inventory is full too. Great. Uh, actually, give me these stones. This in the bag. And then the rest of these can go in the bag too. I wonder if I could sell the whole bag, although I wouldn't want to do that. Because then I wouldn't be able to use it anymore, of course. Yeah, that'd be a bad idea. There we go. Inventory management, the game. So much fun. You don't even know where the time went. So exciting. Let's check it out. Dusty history book, blah, blah, blah. Two-faced goddesses. Okay, hold on. Yeah, the Sisters of Light and Darkness. So this is Salune and Char. Yeah, Lord Ao. So Lord Ao is like the over god. He created all the gods and the realm space. I've never heard of that before. Mm-hmm. Thirteen Lords of Shadow. All right, the two-faced goddess. That sounds like <laughs> I know. I know what it means. It's saying like she's of light and dark, but it makes it sound like she's just a liar. <laughs> Uh, okay, so yeah, so, the, hmm, who is a two-faced goddess? Da, 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 yeah, twin beautiful goddesses, yeah, so this is Char and Sulune, before Char, I guess, was technically evil. I don't know why it calls her the two-faced goddess when it says right here that they're like twins, twin beautiful goddesses, hmm. Anyway, so yeah, then they created the Earth, and then from the Earth came the Earth Mother, Chantia, who is the human god of, the of like, growth and plant life and stuff, and fertility, sort of. Uh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. All right, so she's become more specialized. See, uh, one weird thing, though, about Dungeons & Dragons here is this is technically the... This is like the creation story for the humans. Like, Chantia is a human deity as our... Sh well, I guess Char is expands a little further, but... Salune is mostly a human deity, although maybe some elves serve, elves serve her too. But the fact that so many of these deities, these major deities, are human deities... It makes it seem like all the other races kind of don't matter so much because... You know, what's their creation story? Well, their gods aren't the ones that created the realm space, apparently. So, what's the deal with that? Yeah, see. Salune. And then, her twin is Char. Uh, d -d 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 okay. And the two sisters who were one became divided. Oh, okay. So, there were two, but they were also one... But now they split apart. All right, and then they they started the, yeah. Then they split off, and Slune wanted life, and Char wanted darkness and death. Uh huh. Yeah. And during their their conflict, that's where the gods of war, disease, murder, and death came from. Which is kind of interesting to think that the gods are like battling, and the energies of their battling caused other deities to form. It's just kind of a neat idea. Uh, uh-huh. Okay. 
at this point, I think Salune, by this point, I mean like second edition when all this stuff is taking place, I think that Salune isn't very powerful anymore. At least she's not, she's not served very much. In third edition, I want to say she's like a minor deity, and she's, maybe I'm thinking of someone else. Maybe Salune stays a major deity, but yeah, there are like three levels of deities. There's major deities, which have like a lot of power, and that power comes from the people that worship them. So they are, they're like a lot of worshipers, and they have a lot of power, which makes them major deities. And then there's intermediate deities and then minor deities, which incrementally have fewer and fewer worshipers and thus less true power. And then at the lowest rung are demigods, which are so, are like gods in the fact that they've got the power of gods, but they're not technically gods, although they can be raised to the level of becoming gods, as is the case of Torm, which doesn't happen until 3rd edition. But he was a demigod, and then he became a god, a minor deity, after defeating Bane. That may have actually already happened. I want to say that Bane's already dead at this point. Yeah. And that, oh, God. I'm, I'm going off on a tangent. Let's not. Let's focus here. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, yeah, the original deity of of magic called Mistra. Um, the Mistral... Okay. Da, da, da. This is interesting stuff, at least to me, because I know these names and stuff, so I'm kind of familiar with what's going on, sort of. Hmm. Uh, Azuth, the high one. I think he's like a ma minor deity of knowledge and spell casting or something. Lord of Shadow. Hmm. And Gond is the minor deity, I believe, of like craftsmanship, craftsmanship, and weaponsmithing and stuff, or something. Uh, okay. All right. Well, I suspect that this is somehow tied into the story here. Something about the Shadivari being imprisoned. So apparently maybe there's something about the Shadow Ari being released now. I don't know. That's just a speculation. All right. Well, that was interesting. Let's see if I can yeah, I'll go get right further without that. getting myself killed. Maybe. Any more traps? No. Strange that this is Why would there be like another room here that has friggin nothing in it? What's the point of that? Huh? Well, it doesn't look like we're at the Top end quite yet, because there's still this over there, whatever that is. What's, what is this? Oh, that wand I didn't take. All right. Give that wand to her. We'll have to, man, we're going to have to do so much identifying. It's crazy. Well, that seems to be about it. Yeah. Wait, unless there's something over here. Wait, that's the one area I went to that had nothing in it. All right. Well, I guess we're... On our way back up, if I can locate. There we go. Just gotta wait for us to get back up there. So, in the meanwhile. Oh, by the way, you might notice that MON doesn't keep trying to go hide in the shadows anymore. It's because I switched her AI from a thief range to just a normal range. So now she'll do range for the most part, unless an enemy's up really close and she'll switch to her melee weapon. Although, for some reason, she's got her melee weapon out right now. Oh, wait, never mind, she doesn't. Look like she did. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did someone just walk off screen? It looked like someone just walked off screen. Come on, just take us up. God damn it. Yeah, I'll get right on that. That's so annoying. Yeah, someone just walked off screen. I think. No, wait, they didn't. It just looked like they did. Or they're back now or something. <sighs> Look, there's there's no enemies around game. I wish that you just let me transition and not have to wait for everyone to walk over here. Even especially since they just stop walking for some friggin' stupid reason. <laughs> I like the game, don't get me wrong, but that is kind of an annoying aspect. Why do they keep going back to like stopping and walking to Randall? See what why? Like just to heal him or something? What's the deal with that? I have no clue. All right, Way well, you, we did pretty good for low levels, I'd say. So where is that one guy? 
that ghost. Uh, let's just rest here, and maybe we'll be able to give him that book or something at night if we if he comes out. Hope he does. Feels like this is like a side quest. Maybe he'll be made conscious again or something instead of just being a roaming phantom. That'd be nice. I'm not sure exactly what brought him out. I assumed it was the darkness, but maybe it has to be like on a full moon or something. I'm not sure exactly when that is the case. I don't know. Hmm. Well, it could just be that I'm not seeing him because he wanders off somewhere else and I have to look in the right place. I don't know. Ooh, let's check out what's over here. Haven't gone over there yet. For some reason. Anything here? Nope. Seems not. Yep. Well, it's cool that they have these ruins, though. Ruins are usually kind of interesting. Depending on how they're used, of course. Well, alright. I'll be back. I'm gonna rest and, like, look around a bit and see if I can't find that guy. So I'd really like to try giving the book back to him if I can. I feel like that's important somehow. I mean, otherwise it's just a bit of lore in the book and, while kind of interesting, to your average reader, you wouldn't know what the friggin' hell those gods are or why they matter or what they are all about or anything, so it would be kind of pointless. Unless it was like a side quest. And we even had something on our journal for it, so you'd think it's important. So yeah, I'll be right back once I've had a chance to look around and find out where the bugger is hiding. <laughs> See you then. Yes. Hey, buddy. Uh-huh. Okay, cool. Awesome. So we did, uh... Did do what we needed. Anything else you have to, get, to say to us? Nope. All right. Well, that's cool. Top of my to -do Glad that worked out. Nice. Okay. In the meanwhile, I also identified this, that very stuff we had to identify. So Nira found that this one thing is a cursed scroll of ugliness, <laughs> which you can't even read. So I don't know. Could I don't think we were even able to read it before we identified it. So far as I know, we just look at it, but we couldn't really read it, so... It's gotta be like some kind of quest item or something. Because I don't know what else it'd be possibly useful for. I mean, at least with like these gloves of misplacement, which are just terribly cursed and really suck. It's, I think that that's... Yeah, you don't want the Thacko to go down. I think. Hmm. Yeah. Yep, yeah. See, so these are definitely bad. You definitely don't want these. And I guess the catch then is that if you put them on without identifying them, it's like punishment. So that's the whole idea. It's trying to trick you into using them without having identified them, which would be foolish. So that makes sense. But what would be the point of a scroll which you can't use with it when it's identified and you can't use it when it is identified, that would be completely pointless unless it's good for something like a quest or something. Also, there was this wand of fire, which is cool, but as far as I know, wands only work once. Ooh, that's cool. I can change what it does. That's awesome. But yeah, like I said, I'm pretty sure that wands only work like once or something. I don't see anything here about charges. No. See, I'm used to the Never a Night style of doing things where wands have charges and once the charges are out then the wand's done with and some wands can be recharged but most can't I, I think maybe none of them can I don't know also I got arrow vice arrow biting arrow piercing and acid arrow which is pretty sweet because I'm always always good for new stuff in m ones quiver that sounds kind of dirty when I say it that way but <laughs> Anyway, awesome, so, oh, I didn't check over here. Let's come see what's over here, and then, assuming it's nothing, um, we'll move on to the next area. We've got a lot done, though. Kind of took a while, but, you know, it's just kind of how this game goes. It's sort of slow going, but I consider it still faster paced, if you will. Well, in a sense, it's faster paced than something like 
Elder Scrolls games. Because, yeah, I mean, the walking around isn't very fast paced. This is pretty slow. But, and the fact that you don't fight in first person means that the fighting feels slower and stuff. Because it's all just turn based. And these guys, with their stupid uh, pathfinding, gosh. But in spite of all that, areas, even though you're searching and discovering a lot of things, areas are quicker to explore, I think. I mean, I think it'd be a lot quicker to walk from one side of Baldur's Gate here to the other rather than walking from one side of, say, Tamriel to the other, you know? Which, in my opinion, is a good thing because I don't necessarily want to be walking forever in semi-barren wasteland or semi-barren fields or whatever depending on what Elder Scrolls game you're playing or rather what Bethesda game you're playing well, let's check out what this is I really don't remember which areas I've been to and which I haven't though so Top of my that kinda stinks I can't keep track oh I'm, I should go in and turn in those boots assuming that those are the boots that we were looking for I think that they were though Makes sense. Since they are the kind of boots that a thief would really like to have. They offer bonuses to sneaking and... Well, hiding and moving silently, I guess. Since there is no overall sneaking skill, it's broken up into the two of those. Which seems kind of funny, because what good is the one without the other? You know, why not just have them together as a single skill? Except for the fact that it just makes it that much harder to... Well, be able to be a professional sneak, because you have to fill up two skills instead of just one but what good is hiding without moving silently and what good is moving silently without hiding you know I mean, yeah if you can hide and not move silently then I mean that'd be fine I guess until you had to do like anything no okay how about no uh okay sorry bro I don't think that's gonna happen. You do look pretty big and dangerous, though. I think we can take you, though. Oh, there's multiples of them. Maybe these are those guys we heard about. Come on, don't let us just die just like that to these guys, though. That would suck. Oh, oh, look, there are charges. Looks like there's eight of them. Okay. I figured that'd be listed on the page there, but evidently not. Oh, wait, I don't, I don't want that. What? Okay, how do I select? This is just the stuff for second level spell. Oh, I guess I must not have rested to recharge my spells, have I? Whoops. Well, let's do a minor journey then. This is just a scroll that I've already got memorized. May as well. I should have done this other guy though. I don't know, use on this guy. There. I think I didn't unpause it too quickly. Oh. Oh, I think we're doing all right. Yeah, we're doing fine. For the fallen! I hope so, anyway. Mad, mad. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, these are definitely half ogres. I wasn't even paying attention, but yeah, half ogres. All right, cool. <laughs> I like the voices. Mad. <laughs> They're pretty awesome voices. Wow, it's a good thing we've been leveling up so much. Otherwise, those guys may have been, you know, difficult. We've we've actually grown a. Okay, I don't know what that was. We've actually grown a hell of a lot since we first arrived at the friendly R N, haven't we? We haven't really gotten very far in the game, but it feels like we've made a lot of progress, which is good because that's a good feeling. Ooh, that looks like a nice two-handed sword. I don't know what it is, but it looks nice. He even just hands us an identification scroll. It's just like here. We don't want you to go without knowing what this thing is, so here, take it. Take it, take it, alright, alright. Take that, and may as well just, you know... Well, I already have this, so I'll just, uh, use a scroll. Plus one, well... None of us are really fit to use a two-handed weapon, are we? None of us have much in the way of two-handed weapon proficiency, as far as I know. Oh, we got a ding there. I didn't realize. Cool. Um, you can use katanas? 
Huh. Why do I have him fighting unarmed then? I should have been giving him a katana or something. Let's go single weapon style. Because I'd definitely be using these in a sing and it's a single weapon. So that's useful. Nice. And because there's, I'm stupid. Actually, no. Let's not do that. Let's put it in move silently. Because I guess move silently could be useful if you were invisible. Like if you drank a invisibility potion. I guess. I don't know why I'd really want that, though, unless I wanted him to, like, run in and grab something from behind the enemy without getting the enemy all over our asses or something. I don't know. Way ahead of you, boss. Well, does that count as... No, apparently they didn't... I mean, we got a decent amount of experience there, but evidently, evidently that didn't count as some kind of quest fulfilled. Oh, well. Oh, well, that's fine. I guess we just heard a rumor about them, and it wasn't really a side quest, per se. That's fine. Ooh. Oh, well, I guess it's just like a flower on the ground or something. It looks like, looked like some kind of gemstone or something. That would've been nice. Won't say no to gemstones. Especially if there's something nice like a ruby. Mm. Oh, wow. Ow. Oh my god. Stand back and watch this. Yeah, how about you stand back and not get yourself killed? God, that was ridiculous. If you die to kobolds, I'm going to be forever ashamed of you, Nira. We had like a thing going, you know, I was like thinking you were kind of kind of a cool gal, but if you die to friggin' kobolds and their arrows, that's just, uh, that ruins everything. Here, I don't know why you're not automatically healing her. Jahira must not like Nira very much. She's totally jelly. Jahira totally wants to be yeah, with us, I'll but we're right just on. like, sorry, Jahira, we're just not too much yeah, into get right on. crazy environmentalist druids. You know, I think that you take that kind of stuff a bit too far. Really, you think that it'd be better if a city was just overgrown wilderness? Why? You know, where are the people going to live then, huh? I suppose you don't care because you're all like, oh, save the, save the trees, think about the animals, screw the people, they can die. Who cares about people? Rah, rah, rah. Yeah, whatever, Jahira. Just shut your mouth. Okay, I guess that's kind of like a... It's kind uh, of a straw man argument, but I don't care. Do 